Amit Dizinkov Square, Tel Aviv. No one organized it, but I think someone just sent a message and said, let's dispatch the th more than 1,300 people that have been killed by terrorists from Gaza. Most of them in the first day of that ugly war. Thousands of terrorists from Gaza entered to civilian places and killed families. They killed children. They raped women. And then they killed them. They killed people on wheelchair and then they took their body to Gaza and everyone there was laughing at them. They kidnapped young ladies and more than 100 people. We don't know still how many and who was kidnapped. And they are, uh, one of the videos that I saw uh, was of children without their parents. Children, I'm talking about five years old, in a cage of um, animals. At that time in Gaza, people celebrated. And they um, gave cookies and cakes and lots of drinks to everyone who actually asked. That was a celebration, horrible celebration. Today, I came from a horrible place. I went to bury one of my friends. He was just, he was alive two days ago and he was buried today. Tomorrow, I'm going to the same cemetery to bury um, the brother of my, one of my best friends. This is something that I didn't think that I will I would do. And when I came to here, I saw that I cannot say happening, but I saw that memorial service, spontaneous memorial service that people decided to do. It makes me happy. Because this is Israel. This is Israel. I'm not sure that you find it all over the world. Everyone in Israel knows at least one or even more the people that have been injured or even kidnapped. Another friend of mine his brother-in-law is missing. He was at one of the kibbutzes next to Gaza. We don't know what's happened to him. We don't know if he is, if he is dead. We don't know if he uh, was kidnapped or if he is alive in Gaza. We don't know. And um, his family lost everything. Now, the rest of the family is in one of the kibbutzes at the north of Tel Aviv. And after the funeral tomorrow, I'm going to visit him. And um, we decided to donate uh, a little bit of uh, money because they lost everything. They came with nothing. But they lost the years. And this is so sad. But let me add another thing. Both sides are suffering. The Palestinian are suffering too, sadly, and I'm I'm, I'm, it's, it, I'm surprised that I have to say. It. I mean, Gaza Strip doesn't belong to Israel. It's controlled by the Palestinians, but they decided to instead of building their future land, they decided to destroy Israel. They are controlled by terrorists. ISIS, Hamas, uh, they are supported by Iran, then in that case, it is difficult for them to say no. Because if they will say no to their terrorists, 
I'm sure that they will die. But we decided not to do that anymore. Sadly, those people will suffer because the first few days were, it's, we were in state of shock. They surprised us. But uh, we are now in the situation that we are, wow, well, let's talk about no more words. October 7, 23. Um, we decided, uh, well, we decided, Israel decided not to stop the war now. Because we actually, I mean, that kind of war happened a lot. And uh, every time we gave up, we believed that the, the, the terrorists will be smarter. But terrorists are terrorists. Uh, if you cannot change Al Qaeda, can you talk with Al Qaeda? Al Qaeda, can you talk with, um, with um, uh, ISIS? I'm sure that you, you can. I mean, uh, no one can. Then, in that case, we have the same situation. Sadly, a lot of civilians in Gaza will suffer. I wish that it would be in a different way. But Israel decided this time not to give up. I don't know what the future will be, but I can tell you that the future is not going to be as good as I wanted it to be. Then what left for us to do is to pray. Let's pray that we will find a solution. Let's pray that the Palestinians will find, uh, will find um, uh, the courage to stand against the terror. Let's hope that one day we will fall love. Let me be quiet for one or two minutes and let's pray together for the peace of the world, for the peace in my side, the Israeli side, and in their side, the Palestinian side. Thank you very much for being with me. Please subscribe to my channel and be my family forever. Let's have peace in that crazy, lovely world. Thank you for being with me.